Hey, Jeff Gustafson here with another Lund Pro Staff tip. Today I'm going to talk about largemouth bass and specifically northern largemouth on, and on Lake of the Woods. I've had a lot of success in the Kenora Bass International Tournament and a lot of that's due to catching big largemouths. And there's a few things that we do that, that really help us catch fish year after year. And the first thing is you always want to look for green weeds. If you go in those shallow weedy bays and you get find weeds that are brown and there's, there's algae growing all over them, they're dead, they're not going to have any fish. You got to find that nice bright green lush coontail cabbage. That's going to hold a lot of oxygen, hold a lot of bait and hold big largemouths. Another rule, people think that when it gets hot, fish go deeper. And, with smallmouths, largemouths, even walleyes, a lot of the time they actually go shallower and when we get hot, flat conditions, that's when we get uh, our heavy, heavy equipment out. We go real shallow in the heaviest weeds we can find, lily pads, cattails, cane, reeds, all that stuff. That's where the largemouths go. They hide out in that thick stuff and we go in and hunt them down. So look for green weeds. When it gets hot, go shallow. When it gets a little bit cooler, say you're faced with a cold front, then we're going and looking for the, those deeper green weeds and if there's a little bit of rock around, that's even better. As far as baits go, uh, it's pretty simple. A, a half ounce jig, uh, skirted jig with a little plastic trailer on it uh, when we're fishing in those deeper weeds. When we're shallow, it's all about frogs and, and flipping little craws. Uh, stuff that's weedless that can go through the, the any kind of heavy weeds really easy. And that's what it's all about. 